Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing fabulous today. Big up, big up, big up. Today is a Thanksgiving. I'm about to do some makeup and my hair to head out of here and go to Thanksgiving dinner. But happy Thanksgiving. Well, belated. Happy belated Thanksgiving, guys. I have never posted a Thanksgiving video and I'm, I had already promised myself that I'll be doing a little vlog um, for this Thanksgiving. It's not going to go according to how I had planned it but but yeah happy thanksgiving guys i hope it was filled with fun and laughter food and family and you got an opportunity to hang out with your loved ones i want you to know that you are i'm thankful for you i'm thankful for the relationship that we have built and our connection so i really wanted to say that uh so yeah i'm going to do just a little bit of makeup to let my face come alive a little bit and put some curls in this wig I was here watching Wife Swap, like binge watching it. It's on Hulu. I used to watch it when I was younger. It used to come on, I think, Lifetime. It didn't dawn on me how wild the episodes were. So basically, if you're not familiar, it's basically like wives get to swap lives with another wife. And it's usually always to a family that is the complete, like, polar opposites. Complete opposites of... Who they usually are so you will have this really really nasty <laughs> hoarder it's just the truth like people that are really nasty they go you go in the house there's dog poo all over the place things like that and they will send a wife that is the mo the cleanest human being you would ever come across the most together person they would send her to that home and send the other one to her home and it is just unhinged if you ask me and it's just so funny to me how unaware we as human beings are like when you're in your current situation it's like you think everyone is in that situation and it's not something that you again you're unaware so you just live your life in a way that everybody should be living this life right or this way so for example there is this lady she and her husband very i would say them nasty <laughs> nasty they have i think 26 animals living in the house cats and dogs i think they had a snake as well feces all over the house it smells all of that so they sent this really clean lady over to her house when the na i'm going to call <laughs> i don't want to call her nasty you know what when Miss Untie, let me call her Miss Clean and Miss Untie are the two ladies. When Miss Untie went over to Miss Clean's house, she was appalled. Miss Miss Untie was appalled. She's like, who lives like this? I feel like I just checked into a hotel. This is not life. There's no happiness here. Why is it so clean? And then when Miss Clean went to Miss Untidy house, of course, she was about to have a nervous breakdown. She was about to have a fit. She had to be cleaning dog shit <laughs> off the ground. It was just chaos. And I think they signed up for the show in an attempt to adapt some of what happens in another household, but I don't think they're going to adapt anything. What happens is that the husband, the wife, the kids, all of them, they have the same personality, they have the same beliefs. Like if one person nasty, the whole house nasty. <laughs> And if one person clean, the whole house is clean. So I kind of like, that's one thing that I like about the couples that come on. They really, they work together. They're a team and whatever their belief is, they are working with their belief as a unit. So that is something that I kind of like. Sometimes you may find, they'll say, oh, I'll try to implement this or, I try, or, or I'll try to implement that. I don't buy it. I think they go back to their regular sugar lives and they regret even having the swap, some of them. Anyway, let me finish my makeup. <laughs>
okay guys i am ready to go excuse my <laughs> wake up she wanted to say hi um yeah so i'm ready to go i'm running late let me show you my outfit just all black and i'm not carrying my camera this is the bag that i'm carrying so if if and that's a big if if i do any recording it will be on my phone the scent of the week has been dng the only one i need to stop using it before i finish it. anyway guys i'm running kind of late i already requested my uber so let's go all right guys just made it to thanksgiving dinner say hi to shari big up big up big up <laughs> Yes, so I'm gonna make myself a plate now, get something to eat. Guys, yo, Kim is so pretty in person. Yo, she's so pretty. Thank you. Oh You're beautiful too. We're famous almost. We're shy. We're almost famous. I'm gonna eat all day. Oh, okay. May I save my appetite. So. And guys, let me let you meet the chef, Sim. Yes. Simlu Creative Kitchen. And if you go on Instagram and you want some good up, good up cake them, mm -hmm. same low creative cakes. All right. Yes, yeah, so Thanksgiving, we we'll start do the damn thing and eat up all the good food them. Yeah. <laughs> this is the plate, guys. Those I have salad, fish, I think that is, this is a shrimp skewer. I have fried chicken, I have a mutton in here, I have stew chicken in here, and mashed potatoes. So, May I do do do? Hey guys, it's uh, another day in the vlog. Today is Saturday, so I skipped a day. Yesterday was Friday, which was a Black Friday. Uh, I didn't do much, I didn't do any shopping. Well, I did buy a TV. So I told you that I wanted to get the frame TV, right? And I was waiting on a Black Friday so that I could get a good sale price. Why was the TV, the 55 inch, still almost $1,000? The Black Friday sales were not hitting at all. It was like $10 off. Ten dollars off because me whatever I wanted I've been following the sale price on it and the prices are the same. I was watching TikTok and there's this guy he was showing the trend of sales over the last few months and what these brands have been doing is they kind of increase the price like in October and then in November they bring it back down to what it was in what it has always been in August September and then they claim that it's a uh, sale so anyway the sales were not hitting i didn't get the frame tv but i did get a tv it just came actually and i had to have my neighbor help me push it in so the two of us were kind of shoving it shoving it in here let me show you my new tv you need to unbox it to make sure it's, the screen is not broken because there is a tear in the box so i need to pull it to make sure it's not broken anyway i'm going to go grocery shopping right now i was going to do instacart for my groceries but i also wanted to do some cardio so i'm like why not just walk to the grocery store it's about a mile away which is not bad i've done it before so it's like a mile to a mile from so almost two miles and that's not bad that would be good cardio so i'm going to just walk can i tell you the last time i walked to the grocery store cows in other bush that was in our walking or whatever, whatever my brother was on the phone with me because when i'm walking i like to have someone on the phone with me Tell me why you made your moo. <laughs> so when made your moo, looking at the bush, two big old cows. So you know who just take them look at time and cross the street. So at least I know where they are so I can go. I can just not walk where they are. I have a card that I'm going to carry so I can just put everything in. And I'm going to put a hat on because my lace is... You see it. We all see it. We know it's lifting, but I'm gonna put a hat on because I'm going to sweat and it's going to lift anyway. All right, guys, I am ready and I'm going to take this cart. Let me show you. Yeah, so that it's easier to pack everything in it and just push. So convenient. <laughs> Publix guys the walk it wasn't that bad so I already started picking up water because I want to put those to the bottom of the cards 
and then I can start picking up other things. And I'm using my phone, by the way. If you notice the quality change, yeah. I want to make a cauliflower crusted pizza. I already started picking up stuff. Um, yeah. So I'm just in here trying to gather all my ingredients. <laughs> I just picked up a pizza cutter and the cauliflower and pepperoni. Anyway, in your kind of crowded, so let me pick up everything that I wanted and head out of here before it starts to rain. Okay guys, I made it back home. Happy for that and also happy that the rain did not come pouring down because even though I brought an umbrella, but still, that wouldn't be a pretty sight. Let's just do a quick little grocery haul. I got water, milk, chickpeas, eggs, kombucha, vinegar, tomato paste, fresh bent paper. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Minnesota pizza cutter. Did fall out of the thing. Let me look at the let me look at the receipt because I don't see it. And I did check it up. Hold on, guys. I think it falls out of the card. Pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, green tea, cauliflower rice. I got a pineapple, broccoli, chicken breast, and ground turkey. I've been loving ground turkey. From the other day so i got those and i think that's everything and as a little treat i got myself some flowers for for the kitchen so let me just put it in this So these are the flowers guys it was just a small little bouquet seven dollars they didn't have much the ones that they have were like some bright fluorescent green and no i was i didn't want anything like that but this is good bring a little light into the space anyway i'm going to shower and then we're going to make cauliflower crusted pizza for dinner so now it's time to make some dinner I already told you I'm going to be making a cauliflower crusted pizza. I've had my mind set on it all week. So I picked up this bag of the rice cauliflower, but of course you can make yours from scratch by just buying the fresh cauliflower and grate it. I tried it the other day and it turned out good, so you can do it from scratch, but right now I don't have time for that. So I'm going to do two cups of this, microwave it. I need to get out all the water. I basically just typed into TikTok how to make cauliflower crusted pizza and tons of recipe popped out i probably one cup good enough right well let me do two because i can always are one and a half so this is one this is one and a half cups i think this is good enough so this amount and i'm going to microwave this for about two minutes and then we can start the process <laughs> I need to make this cool down which i allow it to cool for a bit because i need to squeeze out all the excess water from it you know it's vegetable so it has a lot of water Ooh. you see how much water in it it's still kind of warm but you can't really do this when it has so i want to get out as much of the water as possible so to this i'm going to season it i'm going to add two eggs and also mozzarella cheese and then just farm out the crust so far this is one egg and i think one egg is enough let me just add some seasoning and just garlic powder onion powder whatever seasoning you want to add to bring up the taste that's what you add I baked it for 30 minutes and I 
like flipped it and bake it for another 15 minutes so this is what i'm working with <laughs> this is it this is what the pizza is looking like and it looks really good i love that it's fluffy and i also love that it's you see the crust right the cauliflower actually got crusty i don't know how to describe that but yeah this is what it's looking like so i'm going to let it cool down and then we can taste it i have a slice so let's taste it i think it cooled down enough it does look like pizza and i love how you notice the crust how it looks like how it should look i don't like how the cheese didn't <laughs> you know maybe i didn't use enough cheese but it tastes good it actually tastes like pizza you can know it's not flour but it doesn't taste bad and it doesn't taste like cauliflower at all guys happy sunday i should have wrapped up this video from last night because i'm going to post it today but since i didn't i have this mirror that i ordered from walmart it's been here about two weeks now and i need to open it and see what's inside to make sure it's not broken or at least that is what i ordered so let me go ahead and take a look not broken which is good so let me just move these up the way it comes with these instructions where I can place it on the wall but it also has it also it also has a stand so I'm not going to I'm just going to do it like this this is the mirror guys I love it I love an arched mirror I think it softens. I don't know. I just love an arched mirror. So this is it. And I like it. I think the size is right. I was thinking that it may have been. Ooh, probably a table me. I was thinking that it would have been probably a little bit too big. Let me bring it down so you can see all of it. Okay, so this is the full length of it. I think it's 71 by 30 one. Something like that. I I think this size is sold out on their website but if i can find it i will leave the link in the description for you if you're interested but i love this it's perfect for the outfit the length is right the width is right everything is right about it so definitely love this let me just clean this up oh and what you're seeing behind right here so is my christmas stash that i need to return um so these are my Christmas decor that I had purchased that um, I I don't know I may need to return everything else has already been returned these are what I purchased so I don't know but it's a lot of things and really to go back and return all of this seem like a joke so I don't know this is a mat yeah i don't know i don't know it depends on my mood yeah so yep yeah guys let me sit and chat with her for a little bit so i keep going back and forth whether i should decorate or not to decorate like decorate not to decorate that is the question so i don't know um who wants to care about all of this stuff anyway you know that's what i'm thinking so all i would need to do is to get a tree and i don't know honestly i'm not sure i'll see what my mood is like and figure that out but i must say that the last vlog that you guys have been commenting on and just showing me so much support i just wanted to take the time out to tell you that i appreciate it i know 
you don't know the fuller story and that happens sometimes you know you have a friend and you know really know everything while going with a friend but you know the friend that got you something and you just support your friend that is the vibe that i'm getting from you and i truly appreciate it like it puts so much life into me it just has motivated me in a way and to be honest i i had already signed the contract for that sponsorship because that is the reason why i even did a vlog it was a sponsorship you know and i had already signed the contract and i was trying to back out of it but they wouldn't let me because it's their black friday sale and they're saying it's the biggest time of the year and all of that and i couldn't get out of it so i just say you know what here it is this is what's going on and i was so prepared for i i didn't know what to expect but I was bracing myself and just to read all the comments and to see how supportive you have been it definitely means a lot so much and I want to say thank you for being kind and to be a motivator and to uplift someone yeah hey, I just wanted you to know I appreciate the love I appreciate the support I appreciate the encouragement and um, yeah so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up okay oh you hear my belly <laughs> i need to go make uh some breakfast and get something to eat so yeah i'm gonna wrap this video up i hope you guys enjoyed it and just go on do the do remember leave a like on the video subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i love you guys i'll see you in the next one bye guys